ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Air Tycoon Online 3. This is going to be episode probably 15 now, so yeah, we are really ticking along. So, anyways, as you guys can see, my company is growing steadily. Uh, 73,000 per turn net profit. And that is even through the fact that I've increased my investment costs a little bit um, in order to speed that up a little bit. Basically, um, I'm really starting to run short on possible options for London. Um, yes, there's still many available possible routes, but I'm running really short. Um, so there's only very, very few like routes at all. Not like routes I can think of, but routes at all left. Um, especially for long range, there are actually a lot of close range routes left over. So, you know, once I completely run out of options um, for long range, I'm going to move over to close range and just finish off all those routes too. And then once that's done, I guess, then, well, we really, ju really just have to wait uh, until we can open a new hub. I also have a considerable number of cargo routes, which I would guess are worth taking still available to me. Um, yeah, as you guys can see, I have so many routes from London already. If you click any random little city somewhere, um, chances are I have a route from it to London, um, which is pretty funny. My friend who is playing on this world with me is saying like, whenever I see a random city here and there, uh, and there's only one route to it, it's always me and it's always to London. Um, so that's pretty funny, I guess. Um, I'm thorough enough so that even other people notice that. Uh, it's always me with um, with my little routes going everywhere, I guess. Um, yeah, so what can I talk about this episode? Well, basically, I don't really have much to do in this episode. Um, there's simply not that much that I have to do. Wow, it looks like I finally got my 120 routes goal, so that's a bunch of free credits, which is pretty nice. Um, like, I'm far from any major objectives. Um, I'm fourth place, I think. I'm going to overtake second uh, or third soon, um, but the jump after that is going to be a while if I ever do overtake it, which I may or may not. Um, it's hard to say. It's hard to say whether it's even possible for me to, to overtake them, but if you look at the rate of growth of my company, it's actually increasing, you know, exponential, basically. You can see every day when I wake up how the line increases in steepness. Like, you can see this is probably where I woke up. That's probably where I woke up yesterday, and I woke up around here today, so, or not woke up, but have finally got around to playing this game around at this time today, so, yeah, we can probably, okay, okay, good, so we can probably expect a large increase in my value, uh, or the rate of my value increase, you know, um, pretty soon, I guess, so, it's just interesting to me that I can even see, uh, see my playing on it, on, on the value graph, it's pretty, uh, pretty fun, I guess. Now, as you guys can see, the 707-320B or E or whatever the frick it's called. I think I mislabeled my video. I remembered it, the name of the aircraft as B, and I called it E, so I'm going to have to go fix that. But knowing the fact I'm very lazy, that won't get fixed for a while. Um, probably after this video, actually. But, uh, you know, I've just prepared all the slot requests. Because the slot request timers... And all that kind of stuff is getting to be a decent amount of time. Uh, like, it takes long enough so that I don't really want to play so much on camera. Because I know we're going to spend a lot of the time just waiting for slots to come through. And that's not really exciting. Um, another thing, as you can see, is I'm so desperately running out of routes. Um, like, what can I do? Uh... Are any of these cities, like, actually appreciable in size? Not really. Um, I could do San Antonio, but that's just such a bad route. I don't really want to. Might, might as well do Salt Lake City. Yeah, we are really scraping, like, the end of all the routes worth doing. You know what I mean? Like, there, the cities just get smaller from here, and I might eventually be doing them, too. Like, routes like uh, Albuquerque or stuff like that. Um, just really, really mediocre routes, Tampico. You know, I guess with given given enough time, I'm eventually going to have to make those routes too. Um, like if I do examine my routes, which I haven't uh, in detail for a long time, um, 
How do we do this? Let's order them by profit. Uh, so we have a 707, 120 at the top. That's not a surprise because it's not a stopover route. But uh, like if we scroll down here, how much are our worst DC8s? Uh, or not DC8s, our worst 707s doing? So things like London to Doha are still making a good amount of net profit. Uh, London to Calgary, like these are all mediocre routes and they're all 100% occupancy even. Same with the DC8s, of course there's some competition ones. But even ones like Yayong, I, I, I can't even remember where the city is. Yayong, that sounds like it must be in Africa, probably. Um, still all making good profit, you know what I mean? Like these numbers appear low, but you just gotta remember that the other half of the stopover route is likely making this much at least, if not more. So, yeah, it's basically like if you double it, that's a more accurate representation of the actual net profit. So it seems like I could lower my standards for uh, what kind of route is quote-unquote worth making even farther and still be okay, um, which is quite surprising. So let's, uh, I know I have one cargo aircraft available, um, and I was thinking I was going to do London to Glasgow. So, um, yeah, let me just try to do that. Uh, I think this route is quite short range, which means it's not as good profit as most other cargo routes. Uh, plus, of course, I'm going to need more slots on Glasgow. But, yeah, hopefully that is a good route. I'm not sure if it will be. Um, but, oh, I accidentally used London's main airport. That's annoying. Um, yeah, I'm trying to not use up all my slots in London's main airport so that basically... Um, when I start upgrading my aircraft to faster ones, which can accommodate more schedules, I won't have to remake um, so many, uh, uh, or I won't have to move routes to the other airport um, in order to make more slots, which is, you know, a very annoying, tedious kind of process. Uh, another thing I, I have to do is I have to use my 707. Um, I just leased it because I realized I didn't have enough uses for DC-8s uh, anymore. Like, I just, literally cannot think of or find any what i would call worthwhile routes especially because the dc8s are being leased i can't really use them like with routes with which are like as low standard as with non-leased aircraft because with a non-leased aircraft you can be quite lenient with um you can be quite lenient with uh with what am i trying to say with the sizes of the cities, because if you do connect a 707 to a smaller city, what you end up with is like a, a good amount of net profit, but not that much. Whereas if you do that with a leased aircraft, the lease cuts down on the profit a little bit more. Um, so it's a bit more risky, I guess. It's a bit easier to make a route which doesn't make profit at all. Um, but there's still, you know, good ways to get around that. Um, but that's the reason why I haven't been making all the routes. I probably should be because they would still be easily profitable. But of course, on a turn like this, I don't even have any leases available. And not using all my leases is also not a bad thing because that means when the 747 comes out, I can go ham, basically. Um, yes, uh, basically, the leasing of the 747s is so, so strong. Um so yeah, like, and what I mean by I can't find any DC-8 route, routes no matter what, I mean, look at the possibility. If I want to make a stopover with a DC-8, what options do I have? You know what I mean? There's just not enough cities left around here. Like, uh, at some point, I'm going to have to start doing routes like Astana and then Sher Sh Shelyabinsk or whatever. Um, all these little cities around here, which are just, you know, business and tour combined to add to around 200 you know, that's still acceptable. Um, but at the same time, on the other side, we also don't have a lot of options available. As you can see, I've connected to almost every city, like stuff like Buffalo is unusable, but Ottawa is usable. Uh, shit like um, Birmingham is usable. Uh, Augusta, Charleston and are both usable. And I think even you know, Wilmington's got no airport. But yeah, there's... A whole bunch of you know little cities around here which are actually surprisingly usable i know kingston uh uh what was this santo domenico uh will eventually and quite quickly become usable cities 
but also in this world with the lack of a world traveler index um seems a little bit un unlikely uh if we take a look at it um where is it uh where's where's the world traveler index guys i forget where is it oh god uh maybe it's in here or was I just here? I don't know. I'm I'm like I I still I'm so used to the Air Tycoon Online two GUI. You know I just can't yet cannot get used to this new one. Um, will I find the World Traveler Index here? I don't know. I completely forget. Maybe I looked at it already, but I just didn't see it. Um, doesn't appear to be there or there. Is it here? The hell? Where? Maybe it's here. It's got to be here then. Oh, here it is. God damn it. Yeah, the World Traveler Index has been steadily declining. <laughs> Actually, um, not really. It's, it's about level. But I would have preferred it to be increasing. So yeah, anyways, guys, that's just this quick little episode. Not much going on. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.